It's finally happening! Africa is splitting into two continents. Did you know that Africa, the second largest continent on Earth, is undergoing some geological changes? Scientists have made an intriguing discovery. Africa is actually splitting apart. And over an incredibly long period of time, this process could give rise to a brand new ocean and a new continent. Over millions of years, the African continent has undergone dramatic changes, but nothing quite like this. However, it's important to note that this transformation will occur gradually over millions of years, so don't expect immediate changes. As time passes, specific regions such as Somalia and portions of Kenya, Ethiopia, and Tanzania will slowly separate from the rest of Africa. This separation is caused by a process known as continental rifting, which happens when tectonic plates underneath the Earth's surface start to pull away from each other. Just like a piece of paper tearing apart, the African continent will gradually split into two separate landmasses. Welcome back to another video for our channel. Today, we're going to witness an extraordinary event that's been unfolding right before our eyes. Now, let's imagine what the world might look like millions of years from now after this big split called the Great Big Rift. But before we get into that, please support our channel by subscribing, liking, and sharing this video. It really helps us grow. To understand this incredible event, we need to know why and how Africa is breaking apart. The process behind Africa's splitting is called rifting. It occurs when a large piece of the Earth's outer layer, known as the crust, starts to break into smaller pieces. This creates gaps known as divergent plate boundaries. The rifting of Africa began at least 138 million years ago when Africa and South America were connected. If you take a look at the west coast of Africa and the east coast of South America, you'll notice that their shapes fit together, indicating that they were once joined. Over the past 30 million years, the Arabian plate, which is a section of the Earth's crust, has been moving away from Africa. This movement has resulted in the formation of the Red Sea and the Gulf of Aden. These are examples of the gaps where space is created as the African and Arabian plates move apart. In the future, there will be a big split in East Africa caused by the East African Rift System. This started in 2005 when a long crack appeared in the desert of Ethiopia. The East African Rift is a very large split in the Earth's crust that goes through many African countries, including Ethiopia, Kenya, the Democratic Republic of Congo, Uganda, Rwanda, Burundi, Zambia, Tanzania, Malawi, and Mozambique. Scientists believe that this split will eventually create a new ocean which would be the sixth ocean on our planet. The crack was found at the meeting point of three tectonic plates, the African Nubian Plate, African Somali Plate, and Arabian Plate. These plates have been slowly moving apart over a distance of more than 3,000 kilometers. The East African Rift Valley stretches from the Gulf of Aden in the north to Zimbabwe in the south, effectively dividing the African Plate into the Somali and Nubian Plates. Although this splitting process has been going on for a while, it gained global attention in 2018 when a significant crack appeared in the Rift Valley. However, the actual separation is not expected to happen soon because the Arabian plate is moving away from Africa very slowly. At a rate of 1 inch per year, it will take millions of years for Africa to split into two parts, and it will take at least 5 to 10 million years for the new ocean to form. As a result of this split, Several landlocked countries in Africa like Rwanda, Uganda, Burundi, and Democratic Republic of Congo, Malawi, and Zambia will unintentionally gain coastlines. The smaller continent formed by the split will include present-day Somalia and parts of Kenya, Ethiopia, Eritrea, Djibouti, Tanzania, and Mozambique. However, geologists suggest that depending on how the split develops, the smaller continent may drift away from the rest of Africa. This could lead to the creation of new countries, the merging of existing ones, or complete fragmentation. Geologists also predict that Madagascar will break up into smaller islands. If the new ocean appears in another 5 or 10 million years, it may be called the African Ocean, making it the 8th continent in the world. The emergence of a new coastline near these countries would require a lot of money for evacuations. However, it would also bring significant advantages. The countries that were previously surrounded by land and had no direct access to the ocean will now be able to reach the sea. This is great news because it will make things easier and cheaper when it comes to moving goods internationally. These countries will also be able to start industries related to shipping and fishing, which they couldn't do before. To connect with the rest of the world, they'll build harbors where ships can dock. It's important to mention that the Democratic Republic of Congo already has a small part of the Atlantic coastline that is being used. 
but Congo, Uganda, Rwanda, and Burundi mostly relied on Kenya's port of Mombasa and Tanzania's port of Dar es Salaam, which are on the Indian Ocean, for their maritime transportation. With access to the sea, these countries will also be able to connect directly to undersea internet cables if that technology is still being used at that time. Without a doubt, the appearance of new coastlines will bring lots of opportunities for economic growth, there will be more maritime activities, and it might be possible to have shorter trade routes to other parts of the world. However, we should consider whether this development is good for Africa, or if it might allow foreigners to take advantage of and control the new shipping routes for their own benefit. Looking far into the future, we might wonder if the two continents referring to Africa and the landmass where the coastlines are forming will remain connected or if they'll eventually separate as North and South America did. Will trade keep them together as one unit or what will be the security implications of these different scenarios? These are important questions to consider. Additionally, Africa is the region where displacement has the greatest impact. More countries in Africa experience displacement than any other continent or region. In 2015, the United Nations Environment Program reported that over 15 million people were forced to leave their homes within Africa. As the land continues to split into the future, this phenomenon will cause communities, settlements, and various plants and animals to be displaced. These changes will affect habitats and contribute to the degradation of the environment due to climate change. This in turn could lead to certain plant and animal species becoming extinct. While some areas are changing due to urban development, it's having a big impact on different kinds of animals and plants. This can make them more likely to become endangered. When cities and towns grow, they use up a lot of natural resources like water, energy, and food. This puts a lot of stress on the environment because there's not enough of these important things to go around. In these changing areas, some unexpected things can happen, like the ground suddenly splitting along roads. This is called a fault, and it can happen when the land is moving apart. It might sound scary, but the process of the land splitting usually happens very slowly over millions of years. In Africa, the continent has been slowly splitting for a long time without many people noticing, and is part of Earth's history. When East Africa eventually splits off from the rest of the continent, it'll just be another part of Earth's long story. We don't know for sure if people will see this happen because the future is unpredictable. But it's important to talk about these possibilities because they might happen sooner than we think. Thinking about Africa splitting into two continents is a really interesting topic. It makes us think about what could happen in the future because of what we're doing now. Will future generations see a continent divide? And how will this affect the environment and the different living things? These questions make us think about how we take care of the Earth and why it's important to be sustainable. Leave a comment below and let us know about your thoughts on this splitting. Thank you for watching and stay tuned for the next video.